This is Matt from Dice with Round Table. Thanks for checking out this video. Uh, this is going to be the first one in a while that I've actually done something, but I've gotten some games in. So, with no further ado, Stargrave. So, I've played Frostgrave. I've talked about this. Uh, I have Shadows, uh, Rangers Shadows, and um, now I have Stargrave. So, if you don't know what this is, you don't know who Joseph McAuliffe is, uh, he has created some great skirmish rules for Osprey. This is one of the bigger books, not one of the thin blue books. Stargrave takes place in science fiction. Uh, you can tell, robot, psychic powers. This has, uh, I'll do a Frostgrave, Stargrave face-off, but just talk about Stargrave today. Uh, you're going to have a captain, you're going to have a first mate. They're going to have very specific powers, a background that's very tailored to who they are. Then you're going to have a crew of eight other people. You'll have some specialists who do better things or customize, like a sniper, someone who's got a grenade launcher, flamer, some hacker, and then you'll have some regular crew. You'll be setting up. There are some scenarios in here. Uh, there's going to be loot objectives on the board. Your objective is get as much loot, get as many off the table as possible. Maybe a scenario with some other type of uh, setting, but that's the main gist. Overall, the loot comes in two different forms. There's uh, physical loot and there's virtual loot, and you have to unlock those. So you got to make sure you're bringing someone who probably has picks, data breakers, someone that can bl break a blow a lock, and they're using those skills. You're going to have to decide how much running do you want, how much shooting do you want, how much back support, not support. The rules is based on the D20, so you figure out what your base is, add in modifiers, and let loose. Just like Frostgrave, Stargrave, you do have two activations per soldier. You have to move for one of them or clear a jam if that is one of the issues because your weapons can jam or run out of ammo. Overall... Uh, that's a quick one too, but my first impressions, I really, really um, have only gotten two games so far, so that's why I call this first impressions. I don't like doing a full review unless I have a, a much bigger um, back to it. So uh, I have thoroughly enjoyed every one of my plays. We have not done any of the scenarios. Um, I've printed off the quick reference, uh, the power list. I've created some crews. I've run two different types of crews, messing around with the, um, what is it, uh, the Mystic versus uh, Cyborg, but running with a robotics expert, running some robots versus just humans. The action is intense. You're getting in on the action probably within first turn, maybe second turn, depending on how the terrain set up and how you move your angles. For line of sight. Um, I really enjoy the ability to limit the additional crew someone can create. Yes, I can create a robot. Yes, I can probably um, commandeer a creature or someone that comes onto the board as through a random encounter. However, I think the most I could probably cap out is maybe 13, 14, I think maybe 15 if my math was correct, like 15, 16 characters, but you gotta have, actually, no, I think 14. Things like 14. Um, but you gotta have the right circumstance that robots are showing up, or creatures are showing up, or crew you can hijack are showing up, because you can't just pick and choose powers. You're limited in a sphere. You just can't go, well, I want to take everything that would give me extra benefits. When you make your captain and your first mate, so many of your basic skills have to come from that sphere. You can pick other ones, but it becomes really hard to get those as a success on a D20. And it may not just be ideal with what you got going on. So really excited. Lots of action. Action packed. Um, really easy to pick up if you have Star Saga, 
if you, uh, the box sets for Stargrave comes with a lot of miniatures. If you have Imperial Assault, Legion, if you have um, 40K, Kill Team, uh, Dead Zone, you are ready to go already if you have miniatures for any of those lines. So, thanks for tuning in. Um, I'll give some more details, but yeah, Action Pack, I have not found anything I don't like about this yet. I really enjoyed all of it. This is like a complete sweet package for me. So, thanks for checking out. Take care.